Hello and welcome to Beyond NSU. I'm your host, Chloe Ryan. Today we are joined with Seshe Lynch, a Norfolk State University graduate, class of 2015. Seshe was a biology pre-professional pre major. Thank you for joining <laughs> us, Seshe. How are you doing? All is well. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. That's great. So you graduated in 2015? Yes. Girl, you look like you graduated 2020. <laughs> Thank you. No exaggeration, no exaggeration. <laughs> Thank you. So you graduated 2015. Mm -hmm. What is it feeling like to be back? Um, it definitely looks different. I wasn't expecting it to look as different, but you guys were like, come to gate three, and I'm like, um, What's I'm that? a little lost, right? <laughs> so it makes me feel like 2015 was very long ago now. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely, it looks different, it looks good. Okay, and biology, what made you want to get into biology? Everyone is always like, Oh, Avoid you're, it. you're never going to graduate if you start beyond. <laughs> like, I just, I've heard a lot of bad things about the department, but, yeah. you know, I want to hear you. Um, I've always loved science. It's always mm -hmm. been a thing for me. Um, I've always known I was going to go into the science field since a kid. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if, like, you guys had, like, scholastic bowls in school mm -hmm. or, like, taking your SOLs. I will always have to go and do the science one. I don't know. It was just always cool. Cool, cool. My sister wants to be um, a biology major, and she's always talking about SOLs and stuff. Yeah. I don't understand any of it, but, you know, <laughs> you go you. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> um, so, experiences here at NSU, mm -hmm. courses that you've taken, how have these courses impacted your career now? Um, actually, a lot. I feel like I use a lot of the information I've learned every day. Um, even upon graduating, I worked as a chemist mm -hmm. at a chemical plant. And I'm just like, man, I feel like I'm still back in like Dr. Rowe class or <laughs> something. I was like, this is becoming depressing. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, I definitely use a lot, even from like the mixture of biology and chemistry together because mm -hmm. chemistry majors will always joke on us like we could take all the biology courses, but as soon as a biology major take a chemist course, they fail. And I'm just like, Man, they're not lying. <laughs> but, <laughs> so um, I still use a mixture of it. I'm glad we got to like, like mix, as, especially as biology pre-professional, mm -hmm. because we got to go into the chemistry side a lot more mm -hmm. than just strictly biology. Okay, and you said you worked at a, or you work at a plant, or you no, worked at a plant. I you, did. I worked at did? a chemical plant in Suffolk. Okay. And um, the funniest thing is that it's the same chemical plant that my grandfather worked at when oh, before wow. he retired. So I thought that was cool, like to kind of come full circle, graduate, and end up working in the same chemical plant as him. Yeah. So how did you get to working there? You applied, or you yeah. you applied and um, I just did like um, the simple like you know you go through like the process. That was the first time I did like a panel mm -hmm. interview. So it's like five oh. people in there, mm -hmm. and they're like, "What do you know about the company? Convert this. Hey, do you know this?" And I was like. Okay, and I got the job. Don't know how. Did you mention yeah. your grandfather worked for them? No, I was no. scared. You could have, you know. It's like, what if, oh, what if wink, my wink. was a little crazy back in the day? <laughs> but no, I told them after. So, like, we had, like, safety day, and some of the people came out. Of, of course, none of them were there when my grandfather was there, but mm -hmm. a lot of their children worked there. So, it was, like, pretty cool. That but my granddad cool. was excited. Oh, that's really dope. That's really, really mm -hmm. dope. So, speaking of occupations, you are the CEO mm -hmm. of Aw Skin. Am I yes. saying that right? Aw mm -hmm. Skin? Aw Skin. And you've been a chemist for, since you were a child, mm -hmm. according to your biography. <laughs> uh, so, tell me about that. When did you, I know your grandfather was into chemistry, mm -hmm. but, you know, what made you really want to get into it as a child? Uh, so, my grandma, I always joke about, like, my grandma doesn't go to the store, so she makes everything. And I, I tell people to explain it. I get her a $100 gift card on Mother's Day, her birthday, Valentine's Day. This lady probably has $5,000 left because she's like, she doesn't spend she doesn't them. Use them. No, she'll go and probably go to Bitlocks and buy like one thing. And then like, oh, okay, she'll keep it. But she made all of our medicine basically, or it's like, oh, well, Grandma, this hurts, and she mixed some tea together, or we just, it. she made a lot of things, so I'm sorry, Barbara. It's it's okay. Okay. It's but, um, yeah, so it, it mainly came from her, especially, um, like, self-care type stuff, so she would make all of our things. What kind of self-care stuff? 
uh, like a skincare. skincare. So kind of how I started off with uh, my business is based on skincare, lotion, uh, different things like that. Or if it was tummy aches and she made us tea or she can't things and we'll, oh, a scoop of this and a scoop of that and you'll feel better. So okay. that And was when did thing. you begin working on off skin? Was it in college? After? When did you, uh, when did you get the inspiration to start? So I had, I've always made it for myself. But mm -hmm. then other people would say, oh, what do you use for your skin? Like, oh, your skin is clear, things like that. And then I started to make it for my friends. Mm -hmm. And then more people came. And I'm like, I'm not doing this for free. And then. Make it a business, sis. Yeah. <laughs> and I made a post on Facebook. Literally, I was like, if I make this and this, would you guys buy it? And comments were like, yeah. And I was like, all right. Oh, wow. And that's so great that you have supporters and yeah. stuff. And friends telling their friends. Yep. That's great. That's great. So when did you officially launch the business? 2019. 2019? Mm -hmm. Okay. 2019, I launched after the day after I got engaged. Of course, I didn't know about my engagement. <laughs> so I was like, man, this was supposed to be launch day, but I'm not going to overshadow my engagement. So I was like, I'm going to launch the next day. And then my friends, they were like, that's good PR. I'm like, I don't, <laughs> this wasn't planned. So I was like, that's so smart. Like so know. before com becoming CEO, what was the goal? What was the plan for you? you so know? I was, the plan, even during the time of starting AU Skin, I'm, mm -hmm. I, or All Skin, however you want to pronounce it, I, I was in the middle of attending EVMS. So I, my plan was to be an epidemiologist working at the CDC. Oh, and wow. Like, yeah. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to graduate from EVMS. I'm going to go work at the CDC. We're going to move to Atlanta. Had this whole plan. The Atlanta dream. Yeah, the Atlanta dream. <gasps> I had I had more a little more steps than some people. Some people are like, I'm just going to Atlanta. But um, that was the plan. And then Austin happened and I was like, all right, this is working. Mm -hmm. And I was working at a, a community health center at the time. And I'm just like, OK, so then I left my my nine to five after I saved my year salary. Smart. So I saved my year salary and I was like, well, if anything fails, I'll have that, you know, mm -hmm. just to figure out what I want to do next. And then mm -hmm. it just so happened to fall in place. So I left my job. I completed my degree at EVMS. And then I'm just like, all right, I'm a CEO. And a stay-at-home mom. And you got the degree and your CEO. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Because Let's go. That, the hardest part was getting the degree. Well, no. Well, continuing. Because it's like, mm -hmm. you have a great job now on your own. Mm -hmm. You're not going to move to Atlanta and work at the CDC now. <laughs> like, you just had twins. Yeah. You have businesses going well. And I'm like, well, you started it, so finish it. So now I'm just like, all right, just get through the program and complete it. And my professors were very, very supportive. Like I went into labor during like midterms. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was like, hey, the baby's coming. They were like, all right. And they were understanding? Yeah. Oh, I mean, what are you going to do? I know. Too. <laughs> but they were like, oh, well, you still got to do this. Yeah. I need you to turn this in by five. I'm like, I'm getting a C-section at 4 p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But uh, they were very supportive, though. But that That's was... Great something that I felt like I had to complete like no matter what's going on like okay everything's going great but mm -hmm. you never know what's going to happen so mm -hmm. continue your education get your degree and then move forward mm -hmm. so right now if I feel like tomorrow I want to be an epidemiologist for the VDH I could probably go apply and get it good for you now let's get into these products real quick tell me tell me tell me like <laughs> you have a bag here with you. I do. So, you know, you. I didn't know it was this many people, but I bought like little sample packs. So and tell me about the products. I will. So how about this? I'll open the little sample packs. Okay. If I can find the opening myself. And I did this. So it's a five step routine. So I'll just dump it, right? All right. So it's two different foam and cleansers. It's a citrus mint cleanser, mm -hmm. and then I have the tea tree cleanser. So the okay. citrus mint, it is lemon, orange, and peppermint, mm -hmm. but it's Castile soap based. And then the tea tree is eucalyptus and tea tree. So both oh. of them have like a little tingle. I love me some tea tree. <laughs> yep. And then I have the second step, which would be a max. So this one is the tea tree, mm -hmm. and um, this is a tea tree clay mask, and then I have a turmeric mask. 
So Ooh. you can pick whichever one that you want, along with if you want to pick the clean green or the citrus. Ooh. So the tea tree, I tell people, is mostly for horm hormonal acne, current breakouts, um, if you get stress breakouts and things like that. The turmeric mass is more to regulate like eczema, psoriasis. If you have trouble with dark spots, hyperpigmentation, I recommend the turmeric mask for that. Okay, and where can we find the products? So you can find them at sashayllc.com, so C-E-S-S-H-A-Y-L-L-C.com. Mm -hmm. You could go through my Instagram, which is underscore C-E-S-S-H-A-Y-L-L-C, and those two ways. So you could okay. get to my website through Instagram. All right, well, I know what I'm looking up after after we finish this up. <laughs> well, that is all the time we have for today no for this episode of Beyond NSU. I would like to thank our special guest, Sashay, for joining us, and I would like to thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm your host, Chloe Ryan, and as always, remember, behold the green and gold.